My whole life, I was always told that my second color skin pigmentation was just a birthmark. The doctors just did not know about my condition. At a very young age, I used to ask my mom if I was a twin. I used to ask her all the time, like kind of almost obsessively. Even though twins run in our family, I of course thought, you know, no honey, you're not a twin. I don't know why you keep saying that. I always had obviously a feeling that um, I did have a sibling. And you know, if that's on a subconscious level, I don't really know. I definitely feel that I have missed my twin. My name is Taylor, and I am my own twin. Taylor Mull was born with a rare condition called chimerism. It is where two fraternal twin eggs fuse together in the womb, usually in the early stages of pregnancy. My condition is really rare. There's only been 100 cases documented in the world. Oh, look at this one, how precious. Yeah, it's cute. Gotcha. I never knew that I was gonna have twins ahead of time because I didn't go through the normal procedures that women do when they're pregnant. I had midwives who did everything naturally. I didn't want to do ultrasound. The only thing that indicated her condition was unusual skin coloration on her body. The pigmentation on her stomach was something that nobody could figure out, no doctor. And I just always told her she was special. We just called it her birthmark. Does that show your stomach? That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just like. As soon as we found out that Taylor was a twin and that she had actually absorbed her twin, it made perfect sense to me. Being a chimera is very tricky. It's basically having totally two different humans, but like under the same hood of the car, so to speak. I have two genetic makeups within one body. Taylor struggles daily with health issues. She has chronic pain. It uh, has lowered my immune system much lower than the average person's. Taylor reached out to me um, during some complications. It appeared that the immune system was attacking itself. I was called in as a specialist in energy medicine to take a look to see what I could do with natural healing. I've been helping uh, Taylor to manage the pain in treating her condition by literally going all natural. I've had to basically change my entire life. My diet, you know, supplements I take, exercise, sleep. Before I knew I was a chimera, I actually did try to have it lasered off of me. It was so painful to the point that it brought me to tears, so. Uh, it cannot be removed. <laughs> I definitely, at times in my life, um, have been insecure about showing my torso. When I met Taylor, and she felt alienated and she felt that she wasn't like all the other girls. I see her smile. When I heard Taylor's story about her chimerism, I was compelled to help her uh, reach an audience that could really share to the world what she was going through. I feel like she has a powerful story to tell. I don't think a lot of people have ever heard of anything like this. What gave me the confidence to finally come out about being a chimera, most importantly, is I realized I've been hiding this my entire life. Beautiful. It's been really incredible. Taylor, swing your knees to me. Gorgeous, Taylor. Give me a little smirk, a little smile. Taylor now works in the entertainment industry and hopes that by sharing her story about chimerism, she can help others who might be going through similar things. A goal of mine is definitely someday to have a chimera, an autoimmune foundation. If somebody thinks they're a chimera, I want to be able to say to them, here, go to this facility. You know, there's a geneticist on hand. We have counselors that can help with body issues. I want to be able to give that to somebody. My message to the world is don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Look at me, yes. 
If you're different, if it's due to a physical abnormality or a condition you have, anything, it doesn't matter. There is a place for everybody in this world. And we are all special, we're all unique. We all have something to give.